number 34 of Presbyterian. And that has to be Alonzo to flip up. That's his first, his second team foul. This half on the blue and blue. Number 33, Chan Tomber will be at the line for the Lobo shooting a pair. Here. It was a very hard fought, close game, 54 47, only a seven point spread. But when you win by seven on the road. Let's talk about some other plays that we're going to be seeing. Chad Topper, what do you think about this guy? Shooter, put it down. <laughs> he kicks that ball behind his. Woo! Look at that. The old behind the head. Nothing but string music from Trayville. Chad Topper, one of the best three point shooters in the country, and he catches. He doesn't have to put it on the floor, he catches and shoots. If he has a little bit of daylight, it's going up. He's the kind of guy that you tell your team when he gets off the bus, you got to, what? Tag, tag him. Got tag. You cannot leave him. You don't leave to help. There you see his percentage, high percentage three-point shooter, one of the best three-point shooters in the country. And that makes that New Mexico inside-outside game deadly. JR will get you inside. He'll get you outside. Well, they have penetrating players, and if you sh you square up on the, on the uh, three-point line and a guy's going to penetrate and uh, you share the basketball, they're going to find the open man. That's why they had 28 assists against Eastern Washington. They're looking for the open man, and when Toppert's open, Count it. Put it in the book. Three. Not two. Three. Off to a nice little start here for Hawaii. Now an 8-0 run for the Warriors. There's a three the other way for Smith. 15 minutes to play. Long three. Dillinger missing that. Getting almost four assists a game on only 15 minutes to play. Long three. Dillinger missing that time. Top it with a rebound. Here come the Lobos. Martinez in. Kicking it out. Topper. Here's another guy that can shoot. Steps inside the arc. Knocks it down. And that was all set up, that jump shot, by great ball movement. Nobody held on the ball too long. They gave it up a hot potato, and they got the wide open jumper off the shot fake by Topper. Even at 18, 10 and a half to play here in the first half. Inside, Owsley to Luke Garot. Nice give and go. Couldn't get the shot to go, though. Ferris with a rebound. And Ferris, one of the most improved players in the Mountain West Conference, shows what he's doing better, banging on the glass. Martinez, topper, three, good! Game of runs, you betcha. 10 run now for the Lobos, and they've got a three-point lead. And we got a run. Here's a look at Topper's first bucket. Jamal Smith dribble penetrates, kicks it to Ramon Martinez, back to Smith, and then the topper of the shot fake, I call it an end one. Get the defense to clear you and one dribble. Not too many dribbles that get you into trouble where the help side defense can contest a shot, but where you clear your man and you have a wide open Jane. Chad Toppert, an awfully good looking junior guard from right here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Just under eight to play here in the first half. And if I'm if I'm Bob Nash, I feel pretty good about that considering my best player, my son Bobby, has been on the bench for most of the first half with two fouls. And he doesn't have a very deep bench, Dave. He's down a point, not very deep. Conversely, New Mexico, very deep on the bench. Well, New Mexico gets 46% of their scoring from their bench. 
The Rainbow Warriors less than 20. Not a good decision by Bobby Mack. Just came in the game, first touch is a long three. Get in the rhythm. Topper, Martinez, reverse, got it up to go. They'll actually credit Ferris with that the arc. He won't make many threes. Eight now for Luke Garot. Gary coming the other way. Toppered in the corner for three. Seven of 13 now from beyond the arc is the last. For three. Of course, Chad Topper, we know about that behind the head, Trayville. And then, of course, uh, Gary DeReese again from Trey, Land, and then we finish up with way. Chad Topper. He three. can top it with the three ball. Seven for 15, 46%. They're shooting close to 48% from three line. And this is a team that's going to knock down threes. And to be successful, they've got to be terrific from Trayville. And these threes, and the Lobos make no mistake about her, a great outside shooting team. Hey, they reflect their coach, Steve Alford, who's a great shooter. And it's been everybody, not just one man. We got Giddens in the corner, we had Topper, we had Smith. Here we have Gary. You can't play in Albuquerque if you can't shoot beyond the arc. And they can all shoot from beyond the arc in these numbers of guarding the arc, and they haven't, as you can see, it's biting them in the rear end. They survived the first four minutes, but they haven't guarded the arc, and it's cost them the game right now. Topper with another big three. And that's the second time Topper has made me look like a genius coming back right on cue. Kid is an outstanding perimeter shooter. Now three of five from beyond the arc. He's in double figures with 11. And one of my best friends. Makes you look good. Here's another three going back the other. Amos misses. Topper tra tracks down that rebound. They don't just get offensive rebounds around the ring. They also get the long ones that bounce in the one Topper dug out. Topper, ball fake in the corner. Around the ball, the defender gets to the lane, draws a foul, and Chad Topper doesn't get to the foul line a lot. We'll get to the foul line here. You know, he's second in three-point shooting percentage in New Mexico history, Chad Topper. But he gets to the line this time. And was in the top ten in America last year. They make him drive it because he's a three-point shooter. You're right, he doesn't get there very often. He's got to learn to do that more freak way up until he got to the pit. Coached at Iowa a year ago. Now he's here in the Mountain West Conference. It's Chad Topper out of the timeout. Closing in on a great game so far. Five out of seven shooting for Topper now with 14 points. Lead back to 17. Conference and rebounding right now, even though he's a perimeter player. Topper, Ferris, jumper, open, good. 12 for Daniel Ferris. The lead, the biggest of the ball game, 18 points. If you got a guy with a hot hand, keep getting him the ball, and Ferris is getting a lot of touches. Tried to get it inside, and it's out of bounds, and a timeout on the floor. The crowd comes to its feet with 6.59 to play in the ball game. New Mexico by 18, courtesy of that man, Daniel Ferris. We're back after this. Topper for three, you betcha. Why not? Well, I'm not real smart, but if this guy led the nation in three-point field goal shooting last, last year, somebody better guard the guy with the ball. He's four out of six tonight. Here's a shot, missing again. Giddens with another rebound. Outlet, two on one, three on one, Smith, layup, good! And Coach Nash needs another timeout, and he is taking it right now. The lead's up to 25. A little bit. Smith to Topper. Steps inside the arc this time, same result. Another one of those end ones. Good shot fake and one dribble to clear the defense and put your name in the newspaper. And for the fifth consecutive game, the New Mexico Lobos have gone to at least 80 points. And here comes a steal. Prentice, Smith, Topper. The pit in Albuquerque. That man, Chad Topper, leading the way with 20. And it's a 27-point Lobo lead.